Okay, what I've got for us today is a uh, solar still. These are usually put in life rafts so you can distill salt water into fresh water. And uh, see the how this, this one was packed. It shows that it was made in uh, April of 1966. So it's probably rather uh, out of date, but uh, it's, it's really uh, pretty common of, of how these solar stills were, were made. And uh, I'd, ref I'd talked about Steve Callahan. He had one of these. You're supposed to attach this to the raft and let this float in the ocean uh, next to the raft. And the problem with that was is it would drift away from the raft and then it'd get at the end of the core and go bam. And so it would allow the salt water to fall over into the, the uh, distilled fresh water. So what happens here is up, up here it says seawater reservoir and you fill this little thing up and it drips water down in there. You can kind of see that it's dark in here. That's because there's a piece of black material in there. So it, it, uh, that's what this is right here, it's black. It comes across here. So the water fall down in there. This, uh, the sun heats it up. It condenses, hits up here and drips down here and then you take this and you you uh, pull the water off. It's kind of interesting. They call this a a, a bayonet a, a bayonet uh, plug. It kind of sticks in. So that's uh, how this little little thing works like that. So that keep that sealed off. But uh, anyway, this it's it's plastic. Another kind of interesting thing. This thing is pretty advanced. Now you look here on the bottom and it says here it says tube it says cloth drain so this is a piece of fabric that would allow um i, I don't exactly understand why it's there but the the important thing is is that it's got to stay wet so that it seals uh, the fabric otherwise the fabric will let air out which means this would not stay inflated so it's damp right now. I, I wet, it, wet it down with, a, with fresh water. And so uh, anyway, I, I guess that's how, how that thing works like that. And uh, so it has the instructions. Somewhere along the way, it has a, um, a, uh, a manual, I think, or a little inf information book. But uh, I haven't been able to find it. I opened this thing several years ago. So I probably got it stuck in a file somewhere. But anyway, uh, these things are not too common anymore, and the ones that uh, are around to this day are, I think, a little simpler and uh, probably a little more robust than this thing is. But uh, it's an interesting piece of uh, history and uh, interesting piece of survival gear.